Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin come out before camp and say, in his words, that Russell Wilson had the quote-unquote pole position to win the Steelers' starting quarterback job. But what happens when you have the pole position and you suffer a calf strain early in camp and you give your competition some reps, that enables Justin Fields to make a mark with the coaching staff, and he certainly did. And I think Russell Wilson remains in the pole position, but I also think that Justin Fields has opened some eyes, and they see the type of offense they could have. And we know how this staff has felt about Justin Fields in the past, and he has gotten better at practice every day, as it's been told to me. So we'll see how this plays out over the summer. Again, I think Russell's in the lead, but I think Justin Fields has gained some ground just by being out there with Russell being sidelined due to that calf injury. Adam Schefter doesn't make stuff up, man. Mm -mm. So if Adam Schefter is being told that Justin Fields is opening eyes, then I have no doubt that Justin Fields is opening eyes. Now, you wonder if last season... The offseason, the preseason, and how well Kenny played and then didn't play in the regular season might be a cautionary tale for them. But I, for the first time, am starting to think there is a chance, however minute, a chance that Justin Fields could be the Steelers' starting quarterback, Doran. Hmm. Hmm. I don't... Like, you want to make it feel like that there's a chance, like if you're the Steelers, and you want this situation because you want to bring the obvious best out of both guys. But it is very, very interesting, and I don't know where they stand on this. Like, I mean, I, I would look at this situation and say, yeah, the best quarterback who earns it, obviously, will be the quarterback of the season. But it is very telling that Justin Fields and everything that he has gone through, and now he's the Steelers quarterback, and then they hand him the ball on the first day because Russell Wilson is hurt, that with a new offense and he's producing, you know, in training camp, like that's that's difficult to do. It's kind of hard to ignore that. Like I know that the throws, you know, you, you can look at, okay, does he complete this? How many times did they win in seven shots? How many times did they win in seven on seven? Are there touchdowns? Are there, you know, deep shots? Are there the things that, you know, you look for, obviously, in a game to be entertained? But the little things like him being able to run this offense as early as it is in training camp with a new offensive coordinator, a new team, it's kind of hard to ignore that Justin Fields is uh, doing a decent job here. His stock seemingly rising because of all the things you said and Russell Wilson's is staying the same and they have not given him an opportunity to allow for his stock to rise Bostic walks in at 70330 yep. so he got in under the 705 time limit that we put on him two reasons why in addition to the Schefter report that I'm starting to think there is at least a chance it could be Justin Fields they've been calling a lot of zone reads, which I don't think they're going to call for Russ Wilson. I know he can do it. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'd be calling a lot of those with him. And then the other thing is, when Russ talked to the media the other day, he always says the right things. He's like a politician. Although I don't know if you can say that applies anymore to politicians. You just say whatever the hell we want to say. He was a little smarmy. A little frustrated. Said the right things, but Kurt might be the word. I think he knows... I got to get out there because he's seeing Justin Fields every day. And he's probably seeing what Adam Schefter's hearing, that Justin Fields is getting better. Not saying that Russ is not totally off pole position at this point. You need to put together a camp in a preseason if you're Justin Fields to unseat the pole position guy. But a little bit of worry may be creeping in on our friend. Russell Wilson. Yeah, I, I know that he's frustrated. I'd be frustrated, too, if I'm a, a seasoned NFL vet and I'm doing sled pushes uh, for a conditioning test that everybody knows that I'm in shape. Like, why is he doing it? Like, I'd be frustrated at that. And like, OK, like I, I'm like I'm pushing sleds and I get hurt. Like, I'd be very frustrated. So and then you see somebody that's at your position that is, you know, taking the reins. And, you know, Russ is he's on a mission this year, uh, believe it or not, that to uh, there's a perception thing that he wants to clean up and he wants to play well and he wants to win. So yeah, he's going to be a little bit frustrated, not at the process of Justin Fields doing well, but just at the, everything that has gone down in the last week and a half uh, to put him in the position he's in. Yeah. It's gotta be frustrating. Very. 
you come in here, you're making a million dollars and change. Now, you're making a lot more from Denver. It's not like he's hurting for money and he's got Sierra. But if I'm him, I'm thinking about Hall of Fame status, too. Like I want to come in. I want to try to win a ring. I want to come in. I want to put up big numbers. I want to show that next year I deserve to get paid, whether it's by the Steelers or somebody else. And you're a week plus into this deal, and you're not getting an opportunity because you pushed a sled. Right. It's got to be absolutely maddening, especially if Justin Fields is starting to play some good football. Matthew Bostic with us here. In the studio. How you doing, Pat? Good morning. I'm good. So I, I won the bet. Mm, you you were later than seven, but earlier than when I thought you'd be. Right. Awesome. And right. so for you, 703 is pretty good for Pat. Yeah. It's solid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's solid. Yeah. We're, it's improvement. Yeah. And yeah. that's all we're looking for. It's training camp. Right. And we don't need you to be a finished product today, right. Pat. We just need you to get better every day. Right. 3% better every day. Are we getting a little bit too worked up about this Fields thing? I don't know, man. Adam Schefter. You got a Shefty bomb. It's, God, it's just typical fodder for August 1st. So you don't think there's a chance that Justin Fields is the guy day one if Russell Wilson is healthy, all things equal? I don't. No. I don't. Why is that? <laughs> um, I think the plan all along was probably to get... Sorry. That was... <laughs> Grandma died. <laughs> oh, that, that was that was violent. Um, I think the plan was all along to get Fields a bunch of reps. You know, this is obviously not part of the plan, but wouldn't shock me if Fields takes the bulk of the early preseason game reps, too. I mean, he's a younger player. He's got to bounce back in his career. Russell played two preseason games. He he didn't play any preseason games in 22 in Denver, none in 21 in Seattle, and only two in Seattle in 20 and 24 in Denver. So I just... I will say, just when you throw that out there, his worst year of his career was the first year in Denver. So if he didn't play any preseason games, yeah. I'd probably try to do it a little bit different than they did. I think he'll play. But, I mean, how many preseason games do they have? Three. Three. Yeah, I, I don't think he'll play the first one. Right. Get him out there for the dress rehearsal. For sure. Yeah. I, for I, a quarter. I, I, I think this is all – I don't think the calf strain was part of the plan. And I think he is probably frustrated. Why am I pushing a sled? I, I, I agree. But I think the rest of this is – they're giving Fields a chance early to get some reps, and Russell will work his way back in. Which I totally agree. And so this, you know, the day that it happened, like this is what they, in a in 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 a reason want to happen, wanted to happen to give Justin Fields the pure evaluation that they can get from him for a lot of reasons to see if you no know, Russell Wilson does get hurt, can he handle the offense? Can he take leadership? Can he be the quarterback of the future? Should we be? And you know, these are the answers that they're trying to get with Justin Fields. And it just happened to be that Russell Wilson has a calf strain. He uh, is out for a week plus, and now Justin Fields is the guy. I I think that there is a little bit of legitimacy to it, of the competition. But at the end of the day, I mean, Russell Wilson went in there on seven shots and or on seven on seven, yes, or two days ago, and was five for five. Mm -hmm. Like that, that's different. Like I know Justin Fields did well too. But, I mean, the first time that he touched the ball and threw to a receiver in a live-ish setting, even though it was in helmets, he was money. I'm so conflicted on this. Sorry to cut you off, Pat, where I want to see as much Justin Fields as possible, too. Yeah. Because he might be the quarterback of the future for you. At the same time, I want to see this offense be competitive from day one when they play Atlanta. And while I'm sure Russ Wilson has an understanding of the offense because he's a really smart guy, I want him to start getting on the same page with the first-team offense. And I don't want it to be next Wednesday before we're saying, oh, Russell Wilson's practicing in full. I'm not saying it derails your season or anything like that, but I do think it can be detrimental to the cause if he's not working with a bunch of new teammates. And that's what he's working with. Everybody's a new teammate for him this year. Yeah, no, I agree. There's some parts of this that that are not that they're not ideal, not part of whatever plan the Pittsburgh Steelers had. I, I, I'm i very intrigued with Justin Fields. I've seen the clips, and I, I think you have to be careful not to read into every single play that a guy makes in training camp. Yes, he's going to pull the ball down and run. That That's on film for three seasons in, in Chicago. right? I mean, this, this dude is – he is as advertised as an athlete. The, the, the balls to George Pickens, the one-on-one throws, I mean, he's – He's made some really good plays that, you know, that's why they brought him in here. Um, I think the hard part right now is with any player that is, I don't want to call him a reclamation project because it it wasn't like 
He didn't get benched. It wasn't that. He got let go in, in Chicago. No one wanted him. You got to be careful not to get too ahead of your skis because there's a lot of game tape on him. And the game is different than practice. Vastly different than practice, especially at that position. When you're not getting hit, you know, and, and the bullet, they're not live bullets. So I think, man, it's just, it's hard to get a read right now on where he is. Preseason is going to tell you a little bit more. That's why I, I think the balancing act is so difficult between Wilson and Fields is you want to see live bullets flying. You, you kind of know what you have with Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. And I think with Arthur Smith and what he's going to do offensively, you can tailor it around him and go win games. They did it a year ago with, with without him. Um, you know, you're trying to polish up fields in case he needs to play. Uh, but I agree with you, Crowley. I, I think, you know, the newness of this whole thing, coordinator, offense, quarterback, you know, new receivers gelling with Wilson. If he comes back next week, it'll be a month out from the home op- from the opener, September 8th, a month. It's plenty of time. I, I just, I get you, but it's really early. We're not there yet. We're not there. We're not, we're not to the point of like, we got to, we got to scrap the plans here and, it's fields time because we don't have enough time for Russ to get to get gel with these guys. They had a whole off season and you got plenty of time in training camp and, and getting ready for, for when things count. Whenever a guy like Russell Wilson is in that position, especially at quarterback, I don't think people understand how much more it is beneficial to have mental reps than physical reps too, though. And the mental reps that he's getting, whether it's a new offense or not, and getting on the same page with guys, like he he's still involved. You know, it's just like he's just not physically doing it. It's not like Russell Wilson sitting back there not saying anything. If he sees a play and say Van Jefferson is running in an out route and it's like a 10 to 12 yard and he's like, you know what, actually break that at nine. Like he's going to go out there and tell him that because that's where I'm going to put the ball. Like the mental reps whenever you get to a certain level in the NFL are just as or even more important as the physical reps. So he's still getting those. Um, he's still breaking down the film. He's still breaking down if he was in that position. I'm not really worried about being on the same page as much as, you know, as, as maybe you are, Crowley, mm-hmm. of, uh, with his receivers because he's played with so many different types of receivers, so many different types of players, so many different types of offenses um, that he it, – it, it won't take long for him to get on that same page physically. So you guys, scale 1 to 10, concern level about him being up to speed – on day one, you guys are thinking zero. No, I'm probably like a one and a half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I also think it's beneficial. I mean, so the stuff they're doing with Fields is going to be different, mm-hmm. right? And you got to remember, and Doran, you know this better than me, but I've had a chance to watch plenty of NFL practices. I mean, the time that you actually practice in game week is so limited. Fields is going to get, if he's not starter week one, which I doubt that he'll be the starter week one. That's just my opinion. He's getting no reps in practice. Minimal reps. So the this opportunity to build a, a package for him. So if something happened, you know, to put it on tape, to, to have guys hear his cadence, to have guys, you know, work with him, because everything's different. There's just the, the gelling is different. And that, that's a reason to be a little bit concerned about Russ. Yeah, it's one also, and a half, yeah. But it's also a reason to, to be, okay, it's not going to be foreign if he has to go in the game. If we're in a goal line situation and we want to put him in because he can run, it's it's not the first time we're doing it. It's not a special package we're putting in for the first time, you know, against Atlanta in week one. I think Mike Tomlin, if you gave him truth serum, would say this was all a happy accident that they used to their advantage. Yes, Agre- the, agreed wholeheartedly. That, yes. that much I, I absolutely think. Uh, I think this is fairly obvious, but I want to talk to you guys about it in the next segment. Like, if Justin Fields were to continue in ascent and play out of his mind and is the starter day one, I think it probably is the best thing for the football team. 